Hello and welcome to The Tech of Today and my preview and some news about Halo 4 coming out this fall. So this will be the 8th installment in the franchise from Microsoft and it was officially announced at E3 on June 4th even though it has been rumored to come out for a while now, for months and months. So its exact release date will be November 6th this year, 2012. And on the 13th, Black Ops 2 is coming out from Call of Duty and Treyarch, so that'll be a sure competitor. It's developers 343 taking over for Bungie, and it'll be part of. It'll start a new trilogy, and that is it about that. Um, it'll be exclusively on the Xbox 360 and take place after Halo 3. 343 has said that it's supposed to focus more on mystery, exploration, and discovery, and not the usual just first-person shooter um, in the campaign where you just shoot your way through everyone to get to the objective. You know, it's a little bit more thought out, and you have to make decisions and stuff like that. So it's not simple. You know, it's a little bit more interesting, which some people may not like about that, but I think it should be quite interesting and good. So there's a whole bunch of new characters, weapons, and vehicles, of course, to spice it up and make it more interesting and more um, sellable. The relationship between Cortana and John is supposed to be greater and heighten the intense and drama in the series so that more people will like it and more people will be attached to the game. And then your modes, you got campaign, war games, multiplayer and Spartan Ops and we'll just have to see what Spartan Ops exactly is it's probably like a combat training of Halo or something and then the maps that have been released you got Haven, Adrift, and Longbow which you saw in those previous three pictures those different maps so they've just released pictures of them but they have put names to it so you can get a general feel of the different couple maps some game types. You got Slayer, Infinity Slayer, which has kill streaks. And that's a huge thing in the Halo franchise. If you're not familiar with it, Halo does not have kill streaks, but Call of Duty does. And so they're trying to compete with them on that because that is a huge thing about Call of Duty. Why many more people play it is because of the kill streaks. And then you got Regicide and Regicide King. A Regicide King, that's just it. And then the characters, you got Promethean Crawlers, which are long range and short range um, crawling enemies that travel in packs. And then you got the Promethean Watchers, which are Overwatch um, device, de electronic, you know, robots that um, fly over and heal its allies. And it is an enemy to Spartans, so it will heal the Spartans' enemies. And then you got the Promethean Knights, which are pretty much taking over for the Elites, I believe. And they're just the standard enemy you'll face a lot in the campaign. And then the weapons, I'll list them all off. and But many of them are making a return, but there's several new weapons. So here we got the Assault Rifle, Battle Rifle, the Sticky Detonator, the DMR, the Magnum, the Rocket Launcher, Sniper Rifle, Spartan Laser, Plasma Pistol, Storm Rifle, Needler, Energy Sword, Carbine, and the Scatter Shot. So I'll just um, say something about the Scatter Shot. That is, I believe, a new shotgun because they will not be featuring the shotgun in this game. Or at least it's not on that list, so I believe they will not be featuring it in this game. On the screen right there is the sticky detonator, and on the next you'll see the scatter shot. So in this game, you got of course your standard vehicles there that have been in other games: the warhog, the mongoose, and the ghost. And then in campaign, there's going to be the 
regular, um, you know, different vehicles that are not normally in multiplayer like the Warhog, Mongoose, and Ghost, which are. And they have been talking about new armor, the, um, I think it's the Gen 2 armor. It's supposed to be, you know, better graphics, looks better, and and have more upgrades and stuff like that so that it's more likable and more people will enjoy it and hopefully more people will play the game by the hopes of Microsoft and 343. So that is my little news about Halo 4 coming out this fall, November 13th. Or November 6th, sorry. November 13th is Black Ops 2. So those games are looking to be very good. So I'll have a Black Ops 2 news update coming out soon so be sure to check that out see you guys